Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Just wait a minute. So, have you revised this uh, electrochemistry? Uh, the topics that I have told you in the previous class. So, we did this chapter in school or in the tuition. Oh, okay, come again. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I was unable to hear you clearly. Uh, we have not done this chapter. Uh, uh, which chapter is going on in your uh, coaching? Like uh, in Lernavio, which chapter you have studied after solution? So uh, you have completed only one chapter, right? Okay. So uh, please let me know. Uh, so. Can I give you questions from oh, what you say? Hello, Alken. Yes. Okay, just wait a minute. And uh, you should have told me in the previous class that you haven't done electrochemistry. Uh, I was not there in the last class. Oh, okay. in the last class, I think you're. Uh, Wi-Fi was not working good, right? Yes, Start solving these questions. Some hello, Alkin. <clears throat> Let me know whenever you are not able to do it. Uh, option A, are you talking about this A, right? Yes, sir. Okay, it's wrong. Actually, it will be A, B, C, not D. D is dehydration. Dehydration is the one in which we remove, removal of H2O takes place. And here you can see two bromopentane. That means, are you able to understand that this is your two bromopentane? Yes. So how can you remove H2O from here? Dehydration is the reaction in which we remove water molecule. Just wait a minute. Dehydration is the one in which we remove water molecule and there is no O. So how can you remove that? That's why this is wrong. Now, when we talk about two bromopentane to form Pent two in that means there was there is some uh, removal but here if you are going to remember the elimination reaction uh, elimination reaction is the second chemical reaction of haloalkanes in which we have studied beta elimination takes place this is your alpha and this is your beta as well as this is your beta so you know that there will be two product 
Br from here and hydrogen from here. Then the double bond will take place between this carbon and this carbon. And if you are going to remove beta uh, hydrogen from here, then double bond will take place at this, this carbon and this carbon. So this is your major product and this is your minor product. We always go for major product. So this is what we have uh, uh, formed. This is your pen two in. So beta elimination takes place and this is your beta elimination. Follow Jetsev rule. Jetsev rule says what? Uh, it says that along double bond, the, uh, the one which is more alkylated, along double bond, you can see there is two alkyl group and here you can see only one alkyl group. So the one which is more alkylated is major. So we uh, here it follows Jetsev rule and beta elimination and dehydrohalogenation. You can see from the term D. D that means you are going to take it out, removal. Removal of hydro for hydrogen and halogenation for halogens like fluorine, chlorine, bromine. So we just remove Br and hydrogen. So it is also called dehydrohalogenation and hence the answer will be D not A. Is that clear? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Rabia, are you there? Yes, sir. So, uh, how many chapters you have covered in chemistry in Love Me View? Uh, so we completed three chapters. The first three, uh, the first four chapters, like solutions, electrochemistry, and chemical kinetics. First, and which chapter is going on right now? So we just uh, like today we completed chemical kinetics uh, in the next class. We'll be starting with haloalkene and haloary. Okay, that's great. Aisha, what about you? How many chapters you have completed? So, uh, I only did solutions and we just finished haloalkene. And Rabia, you, uh, you haven't studied uh, haloalkenes, right? Yes, sir. Okay, just wait a minute. I'm going to do something else. Both of you. So. Okay, Rabia, uh, since you haven't studied uh, Halolkins and halorings. So I'm going to give you uh, questions from uh, electrochemistry on the right hand side. And Aisha, I'm going to give you questions from halolkins on the left hand side. And I'll talk to the management and accordingly, uh, I will deal with that. And then we will come to some place. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Uh, so I think. Uh, Aisha, you are able to see the question, right? On the left hand side. Yes. Yeah. And now I think you are able to see the question. Okay. Both of you write the question number and solve it accordingly and send me the answer in chat box.
Uh, okay, Aisha and Rabi, am I audible to both of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, I wanted to ask you, like, uh, uh, it is quite difficult to you know, do this uh, different, different chapter. Uh, I want to take both of you on the same track, on same track, so that we'll be able to solve more and more number of questions. So, uh, I think uh, in this week, uh, uh, Hello Elkins, uh, most of the parts from Hello Elkins will be covered, right, Rabia? Sir, I'm not sure because we started okay. the chapter. We just did some of the basic stuff today. So, yeah. Okay. In this week, how many classes you have with Salim sir? Uh, uh, Salim sir taught you, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, how many classes in this week you have with him? So, uh, I have two classes that is on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Okay. Saturday and, and Sunday. Okay. And then on uh, on Sunday, you have class with me. Okay. And I got it. And what about you, Aisha? Which chapter is going on? Uh, uh, which chapter is going on? I'm not able to uh, hear it clearly. So we finished our okay, so I don't know which chapter we're going to do. Okay, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. uh, we will do it later. Uh, I wanted to ask you from class 11, uh, do you have any chapter which is more confusing or you have confidence in that so that we can do some practice, which should be common? Like Aisha, are you have you solved uh, chemical bonding? Let me write some uh, some of the uh, uh, good chapters and easy chemical bonding, uh, the structure of atom. From the first book. periodic table any chapter that you have studied very well in class 11 rabi and aish Uh, Aisha, uh, Rabia is comfortable with the third one, which is periodic table. Are you? Uh, there is power cut off, so I will not be visible for a while. Yes, sir. Uh, just wait a minute. I think the net is. Uh, Aisha, can you come again? Are you comfortable with the third chapter? Uh, Rabia, are you fine with the third, sir? I'm fine with it. Yes, Aisha, you yes, just told sir. me. Okay, thank you, both of you. Thank you. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Okay, so I'm going to take you, uh, I'm going to give you a very easy question that comes, uh, that is from NEET 2020. And it is about the oxide of the metal, non-metal and metalloid, which is very, very easy. So I think both of you can do this.
are you able to see the screen match the column it is yes sir okay please do it <clears throat> Any answer, both of you? Very good, Aisha. Rabia, any answer? No, sir, just a second. Okay, take your time in the problem. Very good, both of you. Please go for this question number four. Yeah, very good, Aisha. You have got the right answer. What about you, Rabia? Sir, I sent my answer. Yeah, Option A, very good, both of you. Some of the chapters from class 11th is very, very important as they are basics of the chemistry, like periodic table, structure of atom. Uh, these two chapters, and if you get, uh, if you can do chemical bonding, these three chapters from class 11th will strengthen your basics for inorganic chemistry.
Uh, let me know as we are not able to do it. I'm waiting. Uh, question number seven has the answer what uh, let me option c option c is what fifth group is it fifth group aisha or 15th group okay okay rabia it's good uh, the answer is Fifth group. Please do calculate it, Aisha. And we'll go for the next one. I sent you the That was the previous answer. Yeah, you have sent it. Uh, sir, it's 15th right now. There is no option and oh, 15th. Okay. Uh, was it that? Uh, let me just check it once. And then we will go. So she's so, saying that the 15th was the answer of the previous question. Yes, uh, 15th. Let me check the. Uh... Question number this, right? Uh, fourth. No, for this. Are you talking about this, Aisha? Question number fourth. Question number seven. Uh, let me just check it out. Mm, there is contradict. So if you have Z is equal to 33, you are going to do the configuration. If you are going to do the configuration, yeah, it will be 15th group. There is wrong. Uh, it's not fifth group. Uh, Rabia? Yes, sir. Have you got this? Why uh, there is no correct option in this question. Answer is 15th group. Should I explain or have you got it? Yes, I got it. So basically, this is the uh, this element which has atomic number 33 uh, is an element from P block element. And P block starts from the group 13 to 18. So it cannot be 15th group. So go for the next question.
very good aisha Ravi, let me know if you have any doubt in this. So I sent you my answer. Yeah, got it. Very good. Option A, option B. Okay. Go for the immunization and help it. Very good, Rabia. Uh, I said it's wrong. Uh, the option is B, not A. Basically, neon is the most one, then fluorine, because you know that fluorine is the most electronegative element. Out of nitrogen and oxygen, you know that nitrogen and oxygen, and oxygen is second most electronegative element and a small size. That's why oxygen should be. But here, Nitrogen has more electro ionization energy or ionization enthalpy as it has half filled. As it is half filled. If you are going to do the configuration, you will get 2s2, 2p3 due to half fills. Uh, the most stable one has a fulfilled configuration, and the one which is after that, you will get the half filled, which is more stable. That's why nitrogen is more stable than oxygen and hence we need uh, we require more energy to take out electron and hence nitrogen will have more ionization energy got it rabia and i saw yes okay uh, the uh, the next question is quite famous and it is an exception of the 13th group element banganalu gajar in thala uh, which is also important and Usually, this question has been asked so many times because of its uh, exception characteristics. You can see. Go for it. And please do remember it if you forget the question or answer.
let me know. Rabia, very good, and I saw both of you. I'm going to give you a question on size of species. Mm, go for this. Let me know about the question number 14. Read the option carefully. Uh, Rabia, which of the following order of ionic radii is correctly represented? You know, neutral is always greater than parent atom. Sorry, wait, uh, both are same term. Anion, anion is greater than neutral or parent. Neutral or parent. And you should also know, this neutral is greater than cation. This neutral is greater than cation. So if you are going to follow this rule, you will, able, uh, you will be able to understand this is your anion, this is your cation, and this is your neutral. And neutral is always greater than cation. So option A is cannot be true. Are you getting my point, uh, Aisha and Rabia? Yes, sir. Now, if you are going to follow this, you can see in the second option, cation is greater than anion, which is also not true. You know what happens here? Na plus, uh, if you are going to see Na, which have 11 electron, so the structure will be in the first cell, you will have two electron. In the second cell, you will have eight electron. And in the third cell, you will have one electron. But for Na plus, you will have only two cell, two electron in the first cell, and eight electron in the last cell. So you can see the parent or neutral is greater than cation. And uh, in anion, what happens? Uh, it gained one electron and uh, due to the uh, same charges, uh, electron, electron, negative charge, there will be repulsion and they will slightly, uh, what we say, expand. That's why anion always greater than a neutral and neutral always greater than cation that means this option is also wrong now f negative on negative to na plus now see always remember that in isoelectronic species isoelectronic are you uh, aware of this both of you yes yeah. yeah, so. in isoelectronic species that means same number of electron same number of electron uh, these are same number of electron that means f minus and O minus two and Na plus are isoelectronic species. The one which has more, the one which has more negative charge will be more, uh, will be larger basically. So O minus two is greater than F minus and hence this is also wrong. 
and if we will go for this you can see again always remember these things now uh, uh, jis pe jitna negative charge the one which has more negative charge will be larger one and the one which has more positive charge will be the smaller one so al plus 3 should be smaller than mg plus 2 and hence this option is also wrong and hence there is no option which is correct are you getting my point this yes, question now uh, comes in bonus so i'm going to give you next question so so yes uh, suppose these type of questions come in the exam so what do we do like uh, uh, if all the options are incorrect basically this questions will be in bonus so everyone will get marks for this okay so like no matter what option we choose we'll get a mark or what mm, obviously uh, uh, there are some rules like uh, if there are two options are correct okay if two options are correct in the question everyone uh, and one of the option you have uh, a mark then you will get bonus and the one which hasn't uh, uh, which haven't done anything will not get marks and if all the options are incorrect then all the students get bonus marks okay okay sir please do this question number 17 Oh, let me know when you are done with this. option b is incorrect see you always remember this point you have studied in a structure of matter as a structure of atom ionization energy of anything will be equal to the negative of electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy of na plus let's say this is the concept so ionization energy is given as 5.81 electron volt so the answer will be minus 5.1 electron very good rabia have you got it aisha okay please do this very good rabia what about you isha
मैग्नीशियम इन दू ग्रुप एंड बिलो दिस वी हैव कैल्सियम दिस इज थर्ड ग्रुप थर्ड पीरियड दिस इज फोर्थ now where is phosphorus phosphorus is there and chlorine is there as well is that clear in the third group in the third period so since the one which lies on the bottom in the bottom uh, so basically they will have more cell uh, shell and hence they will be the bigger one so calcium is the one which is bigger are you getting my point down the group size increases and after that you can check chlorine and phosphorus which one is bigger phosphorus because when we move in uh, left to right in a period when we move left to right in a period size decreases so we can write calcium then magnesium then phosphorus then chlorine and hence the answer is your c i got it no sir yes okay go for this as well think about it give me the correct answer very good aisha you have got the right answer and ravi are you too very good both of you just wait a minute very easy question okay okay please do decide about the next class which chapter we are going to cover uh, that should be common for both of you hello elkin and hello arins uh, what you say uh, rabia the topic uh, which you will have covered in the upcoming class up to that topic uh, question only okay sir sure no okay. You need to choose the wrong options. Okay, Aisha. So it's very easy. first of all acidic character so which of the following order is as a uh, uh, wrong so 
this is your NH3, this is your PH3, and this is your ASH3. And in this, oh, very good, Rabia. In this, the, uh, it has been given this is the most acidic. So you need to check what is acid, the one which gives which gives H plus easily. So you know that nitrogen is a small, phosphorus is larger than uh, nitrogen, and uh, arsenic is more la uh, larger than phosphorus. So the bond length increases, hence bond strength decreases. So since this ASS3 will have more uh, larger bond length, so it can be breakable, easily breakable, and it can give you hydrogen easily. That's why this option is correct. Now, if you are going for this basic character, uh, the one which is more metallic will be more basic. So you know, move from left to uh, sorry when we move from top to bottom in a periodic table uh, metallic character increases and hence basic character increases so k2 k is here sodium is here magnesium is here and aluminium is here when you move from left to right in a periodic table the metallic character decreases non metallic character increases so this will be the less lowest metallic character this will have the lowest metallic character lowest basic character so the most this is also correct and if you can go for this ionic radius also correct because you know that lithium sodium potassium rubidium down the group size increases so if you are going to convert this all together in a cation then this is also correct